good morning, this is Houndog Steve coming to you on the 19th of June and uh, today as I say is the day we're going to rebuild this Hugel culture bed and uh, so let's take a little look at some of the things that we're going to need. Luckily I have pre-cut all of the wood last year and just covered it so it's all ready to go and um, so it should be a fairly straightforward job, just a little bit of grunt work. Okie dokie. So here is the one of the ends and uh, you'll see there is a staple gun, a pair of scissors and some black gardener's landscape fabric. That's all that is. And uh, we're going to basically line the entire raised bed with this material. Uh, the wood is hemlock, uh, which is extremely resilient, uh, not only to insects, uh, but also to moisture, damp, mold, funguses and that kind of thing. And the idea of this material is uh, because it is slightly absorbent. Uh, it prevents the soil from actually touching the wood and it also has a wicking effect which will tend to pull that moisture away which of course uh, that's the part that does the damage. So this again is an experiment like all things in life and so we are going to see how it works out. And so this is basically a rinse and repeat. You notice this is uh, going to be joined on both sides, so it has the two supports. And this is so I have a good broad edge to uh, screw into. That's not right close to the edge. That's not right close to the edge of the wood, okay? Because this is going to sit here about halfway. And if you start screwing in too close to this edge, you're going to split. You're going to split the wood. Okay, I put those uh, two uh, long boards there uh, on there and just uh, lightly bolted them in place just to hold my distances because uh, if that earth starts to give away on the inside I'll tell you it will move those boards and uh, you'll have to take them all apart to fix it again.
Okay, so this is day two. I went down and bought myself some more wood. Uh, this is for the uh, other raised bed in the back there. And uh, the last piece of the far end is just about to go in. So this is as far as we've got. I uh, pulled this antenna up a little bit so it's a little higher. See if we can really get some peas growing up there. Okay, I'm going to be moving uh, this support, this uh, and TV antenna pole, and uh, I'm going to dig a little trench in there to get my cross piece, and we should be good to go. Lots of work. Anyway, it's looking good so far. Okay, so another key that I found to making basically a successful installation without too much struggle is leave yourself lots of clearance. Uh, you can see where the uh, piece is going to go on here and if you look down there you'll see that I've cut it well back. We can always fill it in afterwards but uh, yeah it just makes for an easy installation because I can tell you when you get that hunk of wood there uh, you do not want to be trying to dig out some more soil because they won't quite fit and da 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 No, it's worth the little extra work to make sure that you don't have to struggle too hard. And there she is, last piece going into place. And there you go, ta-da! The finished product just as the rain is starting to come down. Now I just need a little bit more topsoil in there and we will be good to go. The TV antenna have been adjusted so they're all in line ready to have the uh, cross pieces put on We'll tie it together and then the chicken wire and that will be my pea stand and that is how you build a Hugo culture raised bed now I know I was reconditioning but uh, essentially the box components are the same but you're just going to fill up the base with the wood uh, just uh, it was lucky that mine was already there as I said it's for a rebuild but uh, yeah you just put your wood at the bottom and then build a casing like this and you are good to go and remember the wood is hemlock and uh, I use these kind of screws here, they're a little heavier but uh, they're way better than deck screws, the deck screws trust me will snap uh, from the pressure of the expansion and contraction of these boards okay so Hound Dog Steve signing off wishing you a very happy Hugel Culture raised bed day